All right, we're fishing. Here we go. All right, guys, what's going on? Putin just said we're fishing, which means first line is already out. And we are fishing once you have a line in the water. He is <laughs> setting up the rest of the spread. If you're new to the channel, we're a Florida fishy couple. I'm Brian, that's Darcy. I just said that backwards, whatever. Did you say I'm Brian, that's Darcy? Oh yeah, I totally did. I said our names backward and the little saying I said, I said backwards as well. <laughs> Anyhow, great way to start the morning. Uh, yes. We're at a beautiful Boynton Inlet today. That's right behind us. We're on our center console. It's Cinco de Mayo even. And yeah, today's real Cinco de Mayo. And we are trolling. Have anything to say? Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be a beautiful day. We got, uh, we got a quick morning because it's a beautiful morning. And then we're going to uh, Sunfest sponsored by Ford. And Darcy's great sponsor invited us. So we got a full day. Yeah, we got a full day ahead of us. I'm excited. Sun is coming up and it's gorgeous out. I mean, it's going to be absolutely beautiful out here. Living our dream. Let's go. Look at these balloons. Well, yeah, we just did a, we trolled for one hour, no bites. <laughs> yeah. So we decided to make a run. That's all you, always what you want to do is you want to keep moving in order to find fish. But yeah, can you believe all these balloons that are out here? We actually have no wind, so I'm shocked how it got out here. But I'm guessing it happened overnight with the west wind. Right, but and just for this, guys, this is not only littering, okay, yeah. but these balloons deteriorate, and then they look like jellyfish in the water. And jellyfish are turtles and other marine mammals or an animal's favorite food. And so they eat the balloons and they die. So don't keep, don't yes. release these, okay? Don't release these ever. And please try not to buy Mylar balloons. They're just so bad for the environment. Yeah. They end up in the forest all throughout. I mean, anywhere yeah. you could possibly think of, not just the ocean. Right. So this is number one sea, sea turtle killer in the ocean. Turn your chips, drop it back. Is he on? No. He's off. That was a fish. All right, it might be small. Might be a yeah. sailfish. Those could easily be sailfish. All right, so we made that run uh, quite a few miles. Like, I don't know, seven, eight miles. We found a color change and then a whole bunch of fl flying fish jumped. It's the first time seeing bait all day. And within five minutes of fishing, a line went off. So you gotta find the right conditions in order to catch fish. You can't troll around the same spot all day long with no flyers, no color change, nothing going on. So you gotta run to find fish. So far, so good. Fish Drop on. it back. No, it's on. He's on? Yeah. You got fish on. The planter's coming up. All right, right fish up. on. It just went way down. All right. Let's go. All right, guys, got that line right back out. And we didn't make a circle or anything. We just kept moving along this color change to this side of the boat. And we just got another bite on the planer. Fish coming up quick. What we got, what we got. If I had to guess like a bonita or something. Yeah, I might be able to flip them. Oh, crap. Yeah, yeah careful. That. You gotta drive. I didn't see gotta that drive. Weed, baby. I'm keeping you straight. All right. I'm keeping you straight. All right, slow down a little bit. Okay. Got weed on them. We're lucky it's a tuna. Ooh. Looks like a bone. King? I don't know. King. King. Yeah. Flip him. Just gonna flip him. Nice job. He's in the boat close enough. All right. <laughs> we got a fish. All right. He's fish a big. He's in a boat. He's gonna be 24. Yeah, that's cute. Want to, want to get rid of them? You want to use them for tarpon bait? Let's get rid of them. Go. Let's go. All right, on the same thing we pull all the time. We're going to get rid of them. Ah! Careful! <laughs> I just got to. All right. We catch a lot of these kingfish in the summer. We don't need them. Woo, there he goes. He's past the boat. Nice. I got pricked with his fin. I live. His fin? Okay. I thought it was his teeth. No, no, no. Again. Did you see a trip? Did you see a trip? Yes, I might have a fish on. All right, it looks like we got another little fish on. Okay. Whoa, there it goes. What do you got? I got a fish. It's taking off now, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. The sail, I told you. Sailfish. Well, we're trying to get them in fast to get rid of them. Yeah. If you live, if you live down here, you really don't want to catch them because they just waste your time and you can't eat them. And usually you catch them on a light tackle, but we got them on the planer, which is not really great for the sail either because it's, I guess it's better to drag them in, but. All right, take it off the planer. We got it on a bridle system. We just did a whole video on this, so I'm not going to go over it. But I take that off, and now I can feel <coughs> wind on. You got your gloves on, Sizzle? I do. All you right. with the boat. I think you're good. You can make a banana to the right. We'll bring, bring them on the right Towards side. You? Yeah. Yes, come over here. Tell me what to do, babe. Come over here. Keep the banana boat banana. Yeah, come over here. He's coming. Okay. All right. He's pretty crazy. Yeah, he's really green. All right. Really green. Yeah. Look at them all lit up. 
All right, it's very pretty. Get up in, to, like in front of my head. Try not so to, to stab me. yourself either. Yeah. You see, so you got that big hook in him. Yeah, I know. I know. I see it. He's really. Oh my God. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're not going to hurt ourselves. We got to slow the boat down, no? You got to tire him out a minute. Just watch the wheel for a second. I mean, that's good. We landed him fast. I know. We got to tire him out so we don't hurt ourselves. He's all lit up. Yeah. All right, well, we got our pelagic fish. <laughs> and, and also, the sailfish hang out in the blue water. So I'm about to grab here in just a second. Just letting him calm down just a bit because he's freaking out by the boat. You want to give it a shot or no? You can try. Don't hurt yourself with that hook. I know, baby. Safety I see it. Safety first. Bottom, I see it's in his bottom bill. Yeah, safety first. All right. Thumbs together. What, baby? All right, just safety you, first. You, please, you gotta stop talking. What, what, what? I just want to be really safe, that's all. I can't grab the bottom bill because of the hook. I know. Mother, this is really tough. Ugh. This is why I don't like to catch sailfish. What, baby? This is why I don't like to catch sailfish. Okay. Buddy, come on, buddy. All right. Keep you. That's trying to get that hook out. We gotta get it out. I'm trying to keep it tight. Put okay. the rod down. Okay. Open the bail just in case. Okay, bail's open just in case. All right. Using the bottom jaw. Hook perfect. Yeah, I see. I think I'm getting out. Oh, it's loose. I know. It's very loose. Okay, I got it. Good I got job, it. Good job. Whew, that was dangerous. Oh. Push that thing towards me. Hey, I'm trying. Okay. Okay. All right, now we're going to show you how to release the sailfish. He should be fine, right? Yeah, I think he's good. All right, whenever you're ready then. All right, here we go. Let's put him away from the boat. He's tail kicking like crazy. All right, good. Ready? One, yeah. two. Three. Looks beautiful. good. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. All right. Woohoo! Fish was at least good. That was really scary with that big shank hook. Oh, that was bad. God. Super bad. That's why we don't like to catch them trolling because, again, <laughs> we're releasing all our sailfish. Yeah, I mean, look at the Unless size. Unless for some reason he's dead. Right, I mean, look at the size of the hook, you know, and it's in his lip, so it's like, it's hard. Yeah, but um, I mean, you know, we're looking for meat fish here, so those are fish we just pull in and we don't have to mess with the hook, but. Luckily, that fish was totally okay, totally uninjured, released, and he's gonna live to swim another day. No. Um, so, and it's a good sign that we got a pelagic in the boat, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, blue better water, no, better than nothing. fish. Better than nothing. Had a sailfish bite before, kingfish, now another sail. Yep. Not too shabby. All right. All right, here we go. Woo, how we work out. <laughs> Are you watching us the whole time? Yeah, I guess so. We went pretty far south. Yeah, all right, we'll turn around. Real quick guys, I just want to mention that I do have a beautiful Atlantic sailfish pendant available on my website. It is solid sterling silver, 925 sterling silver, gorgeous 3D on either side. Check it out if you want to support my small business as well as a dozen other pendants to choose from. All nautical based unisex necklaces. And of course, we've got apparel, decals, signed 8x10 autographed pictures from me, all kinds of good stuff, 2023 calendars. Check out my website. We got a ton of stuff. Still trying to find some more fish, but uh, we came out deep on a line. Nice job. And uh, caught some bar jacks. I mean, some charter guys will tell you these are good fish, but they're not. <laughs> what? <laughs> charter guys fill the boat with those things. Yeah, I know they do. They, they live underneath the, uh, underneath all the um, weed lines out here. You catch them in a million a day if you wanted to. You can't literally avoid them. Sometimes they prevent you from fishing. But it's a good thing that they're here. It's the whole I, point. I think you got one not one over there too, Sizzle. Okay. They're gonna just cover your top lines up. Put them on this called Isla Marta Flyer. Yeah, but usually like when they're around, they're under the weed patches, and when they're under the weed patches, there's usually pelagics around to eat them too. Yeah, because you know they're eating the same thing. But we got no real bites. And sometimes you can't even keep your Yep. And we also put a limit on our time trolling here after finding this color change and scatter weed and stuff going on. 
We towed for 15 minutes, didn't get a bike, so now it's time to uh, move locations once again. Yeah, see if you got a good project on there. Always be moving. There's something on here. Yeah, budget. Always be moving. Yep. That's a for bigger both of one. Us. Nice. That's on Sweet. there. I think I forgot what that's called an islander or something or other. Another uh, species on the boat. But basically, just chugger hedge, one of my favorite lures of all time. Pull it yes. every day. Oh, his lip has been so ripped off. He was out there, God knows how long. Come on, buddy. If you come home from a charter at a cooler full of those. You know. <laughs> it was a tough day. It was a tough day. These fish always bite. They'll bite bear hooks sometimes. Oh, yeah, you catch those little bear hooks. In the summer months. Got a bunch of divers. Sorry. Got a bunch of divers right here. Yeah, that's here. him. He's coming for them. The, the dive boat was so far away, why well, just stop Dude, in here? Just miles make sure they don't get, away. Just make sure they don't get ran over or something. Just like, like miles and miles away from this group of people. It's crazy. They God knows how long they've been sitting here. Yeah. So They're we dangerous. just went over to check it out, but... Yeah, I mean, I'm just standing like just sitting here so I don't get ran over or something. It's a group of 10 is people. That the, is that the dive boat? Yes, now that's their dive boat. Now he's not going the right direction. Yes, this is their dive boat. Yeah, that's his dive boat right here coming up. All that's right, them. we'll just wait till the dive boat gets here. Hey, I would not appreciate that. No, he's way, too, he's way too far away. He was miles and miles away. But, you know, just watch out for divers out here. You, you know, I know sometimes they're a pain in the we're ass. We're in the middle of, we're in 220 feet of water. What? He's turning around. Like there's literally like 10 divers here. No, you've got another crew on board. Oh my god. What? Where are these? All right, we're going to go talk to these people. Yeah, it's ridiculous. This is a different boat with a different crew on board. Yeah, I don't feel like you can leave these guys out here like gonna this. He's going to drop them. Where's your dive boat? Oh, that's your boat? Okay, cool. We were just worried about you guys. We weren't sure. You swam from shore? Oh, I'm about to say. I'm like, what? That's crazy. All right, you guys are good. Oh, oh nice. thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no worries. Have a good one. Thanks. Thanks. All right, so that is their dive boat. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> he dropped another crew off, and now he's coming oh, to get them. Yeah, it's like these guys were all on yeah. whatever. And then they said they watched our YouTube channel. Yes. So that was cool. The one guy in the lead. Yeah. There's like a group of like 15 people tied to a rope together. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, so they appreciated it. That yeah, I mean, we don't want them to get ran over in the middle of the water like that. Yeah, it guys. does happen, and you hear about that all the time out here, and you hear about people rescuing divers all, all the time. All the time. Our so, charter captain friends do it all the yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, we've never encountered that yet, but we would do it. We would put all those people on our boat right now. Yeah, these usually just one or two divers. This is a whole group. Yeah. They've been, they've been on the Dude, surface for a while. You just said he swam from shore. Yeah, like we swam from shore. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, uh, did our good deed of the day. Yeah. Try to. Try to. All right. Now he's All coming. Right, let me put my mic down. I mean, my big fancy binoculars down. That's a dark now I can Christmas. see That's everybody so everywhere and steal your spots. <laughs> no, just kidding. We use radar for that. All right, guys. We did not find much out there. There was a lot of flying fish. So at least there's some fish. We just didn't catch any fish. We saw those. We saw that bait in that bucket. Tell them about that. Yeah, that's a good B-roll. We saw, yeah, we saw the bait in the bucket. We had to stop for that. Oh, there's something else floating over here. So anytime we see any kind of garbage or debris, we like to stop and check it out because it holds fish. So that bucket had the bottom missing, and there was like four triple tail hanging out inside. It was kind of cool. And then you see a whole bunch of bait down below. So you can see that the smallest thing will hold a whole like just system of life. It's crazy. And what we got here, oh. Good job. Failed. That it's was not to, really a good hard grab. To grab. Yeah, hard to yeah. grab. Yeah. That. That's like some kind of, it looks almost like a gas. It is. Something for a gas tank, right? Yeah. So look at is. us. We're taking balloons out of the water, saving sea turtles, and we're taking garbage out of the water that'll eventually go to the ocean floor. And we tried to save some divers. And we tried to save some divers, that's right, even though I did <laughs> failed at getting good footage. What the heck? Sorry, don't film. I got it. I got you it. You got it? Sorry. <laughs> that was like the perfect uh, wrong shot. <laughs> All, right, All right, got some go. more garbage. More garbage. Wait, hold on. Head over there. No, I'm not. Enough. There's, enough. there's one right there. All right, we'll get that one. It's a one. balloon. 
We gotta get that. All right, we're all blown. Listen, I'm doing God's. We're doing God's deeds right now. We're doing. This is like. I think you're doing good, good deeds for me more extra than anybody else. Good karma for the next time we're out here, baby. You gotta add the karma up, man. Yeah, and the fish. We gotta make the fish gods happy. I mean, we didn't put any fish in the boat today. No, we could have ate that sailfish. Landed on this side. Yeah, we could have, but that fish was so frisky. <laughs> that fish is living tomorrow. Don't worry. Looks like yeah, it's we're gonna a eat a sailfish as soon as one is like. Sometimes you catch it when they die. Nothing you can do about it. So we're waiting for that. What is that? Garbage. Let me see. Yeah, just for garbage. An ice pack. Ice pack. Take away. Uh, Doritos. All right, there we go. Crushed it. Look what we got in the boat. You crushed it today. <laughs> Look what we got in the boat. Balloons, garbage, and more garbage. All right, back at the house, and I'm not wearing any pants. No, he's not. <laughs> He wants to show you guys my ghetto garden, what's going on back here. This is, he's destroying my yard. I don't. I, I do have some stuff on the boat. That's not allowed. And I'm a bad person. But besides that. not allowed under the boat. Anyway, no. I, so I came outside in my boxer briefs. And I also like put some pants on. And I'm like, this is five times more than girls wear at the beach. It's very true. It's so, so it's crazy. The, 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 like the double standard is so insane. It is But anyway. Insane. Yes. Great day in the water. Awesome day in the water. You know, I, I was going to say, it just proves that you can have... Every day is a new adventure, so just go ahead and get out on the water. I mean, we didn't catch a million fish, but we saw the divers, we experienced divers. We caught, yeah. we saw that we got the garbage out of the water. We saw what kind of little fishes. I mean, super nice, super fun. Yeah, yeah. It, it, no, like every, like you said, like every time you go out there, it's just a new learning experience. And even 12 years down the line, deep sea fishing, we're still learning to this very day. And having I mean, fun, because every day fun. is new. Following it's our like dreams. being a pirate. Yes, and I do <laughs> feel better cleaning up the ocean, so. Yeah. Please do that too. Don't throw your garbage out. Don't release balloons like we talked about, but right. you guys get the gist of it. And all the lures we fished in this video will be linked down below in the Amazon store. Check it out and yes. get your own. And everything we use in the videos is on Amazon. So I'll have that info right down below for you. Yeah, and uh, we also mentioned in the video we're going to Sunfest. So we want to thank South Florida Ford. Thank you. For uh, taking us to Sunfest. Buy Ford now. And that's it. Let's wrap it up quick. All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And until our next adventure, follow Buy your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. We're going to the keys. Awesome adventures coming up. <laughs>